Jediro. Okay, here we are. Welcome to the world's largest, smallest, longest lasting active YouTube channel. My name is Sertia Hero, and it's now time for a new classic game. This time the game is Dungeon Keeper 2, and this is a game from year 1999. Smilesville. Welcome game is developed by Behold, Bullfrog Productions and published by Electronic Arts and Sold Out Software. Destroyed. You will be banished forever from this land. And unlike last week, this time I'm basically going to know what I'm doing because there is a tutorial for this game. Should you challenge him and claim your prize? Layer. Like I said last week, it's funny that you need to wait two years and buy a new game to be able to play the first game. There's money to be made. Click well, maybe that's a bit hard to say, but yeah, if you think it's today, yeah, it's well, wrong. It shouldn't be like that. And now your faithful servant imps will carry so yeah, and now it's easy to see where is the money. You can easily see the gold, uh, coin, and red bars. That would be a bit, that would be a bit weird if gold coins would be found in the walls. Coins are made, not born. Well, bars the same. Gold, gold something. I don't know. So yeah, and now my small servants are gathering me some gold. Their skill acquired and reflect the simple thoughts within. Yeah. And graphic style, as you can see, there is a huge improvement. Only uh, even there is only two years Excellent. between the first and the second game. You are ready to recruit more creatures to your cause. See, a portal near your dungeon heart to where your imps must dig. They'll claim this portal to be yours. You'll see what beasts emerge. Yeah, as you can see, now it tells me everything what I need to know about playing this game. It's just so stupid. Yeah, I should have really done the uh, Dungeon Keeper 2 first and then played Dungeon Keeper 1, but uh, yeah, that's, I just wanted to show you how uh, odd it is uh, when you are starting from the Dungeon Keeper 1. But yeah, let's not talk about that one. Let's try to focus on this one. And this is the first mission on the game, it's just to show you what the game has to offer. In case you were a bit scared about the, the layer, a place of rest first sleep to calm their dungeon keeper their about not telling you what Behold to do. Your portal, the gate through which new creatures enter your domain. Look well, a goblin has entered your domain. On his own, he is a cowardly beast, but in a horde becomes a useful fighting force. Your goblins need a lair where they shall sleep. Tag the flashing area to guide your imps to dig sufficient space. In 99 there was plans for Dungeon Keeper 3, but that was actually cancelled in 2000 and was never made. And I think it should be made, or at least some successor for this game, because actually uh, when I'm playing this second game I really like this game. It tells me everything I need to know and everything works well, even on modern per PCs. There is no problems at all, and now we can see that the one dude doing the ground thing, I need that to be done before I can build on the ground. As you can see, red and blue. Blue indicates that you can build, and red indicates you can't. That's really clever. Your lair is not large enough to draw sufficient creatures through the. So yeah, now I'm just waiting for my creeps to finish building. 
And yeah, I need to fill this room completely. At least that's what I'm th I think I need to do. Are those scripts just gonna go stay there? I think they are. Yay! Yeah, I'm just wondering. Uh, yeah, I think they can walk to on this. Your lair yeah, 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 that was that's right what I needed to do. And now we're trying building walls. Nicer walls, not just stone walls. They can sleep there, and now I need to build a new area where they can get food. I know there is a newer versions of the same idea. Like a Dungeon Keeper 2. Uh, is, is it Dungeon Defenders or something? Yeah, it holds the same idea. But of course, it's not a Dungeon Keeper game. Build a hatchery. Click here. Select the symbol of the chick. Then click over empty tiles of land you've claimed to build the hatchery. Good progress, Keeper. See? Your goblins are well rested in their lair, and their bellies full with juicy chicken flesh. Now keep watch, for very soon more goblins will arrive, and then your numbers will be strong enough to challenge Lord Antonius. I sense a breach. The servants of Antonius have broken through your walls, and you can move your gaze to see them now by right-clicking on the flashing blade. But worry not this time, for it is only dwarves, who, feeble as they are, pose little threat against your goblins. Don't you just love the voice behind the, um, speaker? I don't know, comment. The one the person who tells you the information. That's just great voice. The hapless enemy dwarfs are being crushed. Yeah, Observe easy the dwarfs. white health flowers which appear above them. When they're near to death, you'll see that only one last petal shows. In case you are you want to play these Dungeon Keeper games, you can get these from good.gamesgog.com and the versions they sell there will work on modern PCs. That's the way how GOG works. They get the old game and make it work on a modern PC. So yeah, it should be fairly safe to buy a game from there. Your goblin if you are wondering if your modern PC can handle it. I know North, even the poorest laptops even today can handle these old games. There is not much uh, fancy graphics. Of course you can find modifications for these games to get HD um, images and so forth. So yeah, I think there is the end of the map, I can't be it any further. And somewhere in there north there is the one lonely human trying to raid my dungeon but okay there's someone eating my chicken wait that's no that's a good thing they are eating chicken that's not a bad thing just wanted to be clear okay I don't know I just yeah just remove that Away, allows my keeper. creeps to move you further further and faster we're well, not further just faster he speaks the feeble Lord Antonius one lonely knight, and there's my 
And if I'm right, the attack creeps will automatically attack. Yeah, it seems so, yeah. So it's really nice, there is no mu not much um, attention needed from my side. You could say this is basically the tower defense game, uh, but with much more um, things to do. And I'm pretty seriously thinking about making a Let's Play series about this, but that's going to be on my second channel, Shadia Hero 2. And that's probably probably Finnish commentary. Yeah, I haven't done really any English commentary other than classic games for quite a while, but maybe I'll get around that sometime. So yeah, that's quite tough. That night. And yeah, just when I said it, he dies. You can see the health bar was the flower thingy. And there is the portal gem. And now my boss, I think this is my boss, is going to pick it up. I could press space to proceed, but what about if I want to see how he picks the gem? That's weird. Yeah, I want to see it. I don't, I don't want to proceed yet. And it's only 11 minutes in this video. So yeah, I think I'm gonna show the second level Dungeon Keepers 2. Even though in 11 minutes I have actually shown and tell you more about Dungeon Keeper game than I have shown in... Thai then I had shown on the previous classic game about Thunder Keeper 1. Devise new spells. Okay, that's library. library and that's the training room. Improve their combat skills. And now I need to press space because nothing is happening. Yes, no, yes, no, yes. Okay, hello. Well done, Keeper. You have successfully ended the life of Lord Antonius, and you have claimed your first portal gem as well. This is a most promising... Sing song. A joyous land filled with light and music. Let the good Lord Darius presents himself against you now. He's more worthy as a foe. But use the rooms you won from Smilesville to good employ, and you'll slay him dead just like Antonius. Library. Training room. First, build a lair, and then a hatchery, then claim the portal near your dungeon heart. It's now nice to see that even this is only the second mission, it already lets me do whatever I want. Basically, there is the goal, but it's not thinking that I'm a stupid idiot and really telling me what to do, and I can do it. Of course, there is these new, new rooms. And I'm pretty sure when I start building these new libraries and training rooms, it, it, it will tell me something about those. But yeah, I really love this game. And yeah, I just look, there is actually a map editor. For this game you can build your own um, dungeon maps, where you can start playing. I, I don't know if there is much difference on those, you can maybe add the code there and um, maybe these um, undestructible rocks which you can't destroy or dig 
And yeah, maybe some things like that. Or maybe portals, you cannot portals close to your base because you need it and you get the um, creatures from those. those. the food and that's done and now I can build library the training room by training place room. where fighting creatures hone their skills A okay well training room where fighters train gold. more gold is needed and exactly. training cost gold and you can only level up your creeps to level up four uh, well, max level level is eight and crap. but that requires spells for you to cut at good uh, fighting you need to creep and must learn it food. while fighting and yeah I need more, more code but uh, it seems my creeps didn't actually collect these coins so yeah I need to keep dropping in and now I have 16,000 and now I can build the library here and that's done um, I might have just missed what he said about the library, what is used. Um, uh, maybe a mage. So fighting creatures will be drawn forth into your domain. Mana or something. Yeah, thank you for reminding. I did. I forgot the portal thing. But I think now the creeps are actually gathering the gold. Well, I have 16,000 again. See, so yeah, I think the creeps won't gather the gold if I have uh, 16,000 already. But it might be the case. But yes, now I should be getting warriors. And yeah, now the game just begins when I get it you have claimed a portal you have claimed a portal I just love the sound yeah what's this oh great the game crashed yeah superb because the game crashed I can't show you any more of that or I could start it all over again but I don't want to so I'm gonna kind of show you the UI of the dungeon keeper. So you can see there is the amount of gold was in top, there is the mana, there is the dungeon heart shortcut, there is the mana gains per turn, mana loss per turn, then there is the change to use choice, room panels, create panels, sale, quarry, minimap options, and there is doors and traps panels, so you can build those two, uh, key press spells panels, you can have spells, uh, objectives, uh, information, dungeon heart information, uh, summon horny, horny talisman, that's some kind of hero creature for on your side, I think. Uh, there is the call to arms and fight notification, cancel call to arms. There is the imps on the screen, dungeon heart, objective pointer and information bar. So yeah, that's a really smart how they have done this tutorial and helping section compared to the first game. 
But anyways, I thank you for watching this classic game. Goodbye. Hup. 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 Hup.